All right, now another word problem for with uh, with regards to differentiation. So this is um, example five. Now, given that the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point is eight, sounds like a mouthful, but let's try to analyze it bit by bit. Yeah, given that the gradient, okay, so the gradient of a straight line, which is the gradient of the tangent. Uh, to the curve. So the gradient of tangent is actually the gradient of the curve, right, at this particular point. So this is the point, and this is the gradient value. So in other words, this is the dy dx value. Okay, so this is the dy dx value, and uh, at this particular point. So our job is to figure out the value of a and of b. Okay, so let us go on from here. So first of all, uh, it is quite easy for us to understand that uh, given this coordinate, right, x equals to 1, and y equals to 5, okay, uh, is on the curve. And therefore, when we substitute in uh, x equals to 1 and y equals to 5 into the curve, we will end up with one equation, okay? So it's not that difficult to see that we will get 5 equals to a times 1 cubed. So 1 cubed is 1, so we end up with a uh, plus b, okay, because 1 square is 1 as well, then plus 2. So Simplifying this, we will end up with a plus b equals to 3. So this is one equation, but there are two unknowns. So uh, naturally, we understand that we cannot solve this. We cannot solve for a, the value for a, or the value for b. We need help. We need another equation, right, so that we can do simultaneously. So the other equation has to come from the fact that the gradient is 8 at this point. So since we're, we know that the gradient is 8, and therefore it will be a wonderful idea if we uh, know what is the gradient function. Okay, so since y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus 2, okay, and therefore my dy dx, hopefully by now, you should be able to differentiate very confidently and very quickly. So uh, your dy dx will become 3a x squared plus 2b x plus 0. Okay, and, and nobody really write the 0, so just leave it alone, right? So what we do know is that when x is equal to 1, okay, because at the particular point where x equals to 1, okay, uh, the dy dx is equal to 8. Okay, so we have to substitute in x equals to 1. We get 3a plus 2b equals to 8. Okay, so this shall be our equation 1 and this shall be our equation 2. So at this point, what we can do is, of course, simultaneous equation. So there are quite a few methods for you to solve simultaneous equation. Now, of course, uh, you can use elimination method, substitution method, or even use a calculator for that matter. Okay, but uh, let's try to be quick and I will show you uh, what uh, I would do. Okay, so I will take equation 1, multiply it by 2 throughout, and that gives me 2a plus 2b, all right, equals to 6, okay, and I shall name this equation 3. So now I see that I actually have a, a pair of twins, okay, which means that this 2b and this is also 2b, all right, it will be a wonderful idea or a very simple uh, way to solve this will be by elimination. So I take e equation 3 minus away equation, sorry, equation 2 minus away equation 3, Okay, so that I have 3a minus 2a, that gives me 1a. And 2b minus 2b, uh, I got no more b. Get the idea? So that, that, that's the whole point, right? So I'll get a equals to 8 minus 6, which will be 2. Okay, so this is elimination method, right? Of course, if you prefer a substitution method, you can go ahead and you get the same answer anyway. So when a equals to 2, of course, I'll substitute back into any of this equation, okay? And I'll get my b. Of course, we'll choose the easiest one, which is this one. Okay, so we know that um, 2 plus b equals to 3, and therefore b equals to 1. Okay, so there you go, a equals to 2, and b equals to 1. 